Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own first. Then when you're ready to continue, press play, come on back, let's check your work. Welcome back, fourth grade. Let's go over this one. All right, this one says, what is the value of the expression below? An expression means that we're considering the part that doesn't have an equal sign. So down there we have three times three fourths. Now, I'm gonna go with the when in doubt, draw it out strategy first and then I'll show you also the standard algorithm that you can do. So depending, you may have solved it a different way, but I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways that I would suggest doing this. So I know that three times three fourths, when we're multiplying, we have groups of equal things. So that means that we would have three groups with three fourths in each group. So if I draw that out, I would need three groups representing three fourths. So here's one group, break it into fourths, and I can shade in three of them. Okay, and because we have that three in front, that means it's happening three times. Ooh, there we go, okay. So now, that means I have three fourths here, three fourths here, and three fourths there. Three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths, and six fourths plus three fourths equals nine fourths. Is that an answer choice? Nope, four ninths is, but that would be the reciprocal of it. It's not the same. Three fourths is not the same, uh, I'm sorry, Four ninths is not the same as nine fourths, so we can eliminate A. B says nine twelfths, but we need an answer that says nine fourths. And now we have a mixed number for C and D. We have two and a fourth and three and three fourths. So the way that we can think about this is nine fourths could be decomposed into four fourths, that would be a whole, four fourths, that would be eight fourths, plus another fourth. So we can decompose or break down nine fourths into four fourths plus four fourths plus one fourth. Now four fourths is one whole and four fourths is one whole. Therefore we have two holes and one fourth. So it would not be three and three fourths, which is D, it would be C. Okay, so we can that is one way to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and lock in my answer up there. That is modeling with a drawing and using repeated addition to solve and also decomposing that number. Now you may have done it a different way. Maybe you did it like this, where you had three times three fourths and you said that three times three equals nine, so nine fourths. That would have been fine too. And then you could know how to change it into a mixed number there. You could also change it into a mixed number like this by creating a division expression. And we know that four goes into nine two times, which would be a remainder of one fourth. Well, a remainder of one or written in a fraction as one fourth. So that is a couple different ways there to solve that one. C is your answer. So go Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the principle and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, 
all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.